Hi. How are you feeling? I feel pretty great. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm excited to talk me. with you. Yeah. Uh, this book is beautiful and wonderful. You write, before this book, a lot of essays involving humor. This is a memoir involving loss and grief yes. with a lot of humor in it. Yeah. I, I laugh, but how do you strike that balance between grief and laughing? I know. I can't yeah. believe I'm here talking yeah. about the sad book. Yeah. No, I, I think that uh, the sort of topography of grief that everyone experiences, the people you miss, you miss because they're so specific. Yeah. And in this case, the person I miss was very dark and very funny. Yeah. Um, and so you have both my cylinder of humor going and his going at the same time. Um, you mention Russell, mm -hmm. but really when you start this book, it's about being burglarized. I know, so many bad things So happen. many bad things happen. Again, there's a lot of laughing. It's a there is a lot of laughing, <laughs> for real, say? for real. I mean, but uh, one of the most interesting parts of the book is how it turns. And tell me a little bit about, you know, how you approach that from being robbed to then this next bad thing that happened. Yeah, so basically in uh, June, um, on June 27th of 2019, yeah. I left my apartment for one hour um, to get a hand x-ray, so I took all my rings off. Right. I mean, what are you gonna do? Um, and came home to find all my jewelry uh, gone, burglarized. Right. Right. Um, and not particularly flashy, just gone. And right. then a month later, uh, my dearest friend unfortunately died by suicide. So yeah. uh, that first loss obviously became the sort of more minor precursor to the second loss. Um, but I, uh, as a human being, I am deeply unlucky. But okay. as a, in this case, I am. Yeah. But as a writer of this book, I knew this is a suspenseful story about grief, and it's right. a funny story about grief, and I don't think you get a lot of those, so. Yeah, and it's easy to grieve at first for these yes. items. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you have I mean, been. it sucked. It sucks. I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, I, we had some winter coats stolen, and I'm almost embarrassed. Winter coat stolen. Yeah, we had winter coats stolen. I'm, I'm so almost, sorry. That's for your okay. Loss. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is hu humorous in a way, but also you feel violated. Yes. You feel mad. Yes. And then as soon as anything real happens, you go, yes. "That's the important thing." Yes. Well, it's yeah. also the need. The only commonality that these two losses have is the sudden nature of them. Yeah. It just felt like a real uh, demarcation of before and after, which you don't always get with yeah. grief. Tell me about Russell. You tell a lot of, in Lightly. the book, but on national television, yeah, I'd please be glad share to. share Just Russell like with anyone us. would about their friend. Yeah. So I used to work in book publishing. Um, he hired me. I worked for him for ten years. He was a wildly generous, funny, brilliant, yeah. brilliant um, publicist, and deeply inappropriate. I'm really hesitant to uh, yeah. repeat some of the lines in the book. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, he fits sort of less and less, I think, in a world that he had helped built in a way. And part of the challenges, challenge of this book was how to memorialize and pay tribute to someone like that without sounding like a frustrated septuagenarian white man who's like, it's just not the same. Right, <laughs> right. You know, the world he, has changed. The world has yeah. changed. But um, he was just a, <laughs> just a wonderful, uh, well-read uh, human being who really was almost like, you know, he's my partner in crime. Yeah. I felt I, like that. People have that with work relationships and friends. I love when you talk about some of his quote unquote offensive, whatever they were, remarks, actions. I mean, he sent you an email once as your cat or something? Was that oh, what yeah, it was? Oh yeah, the whole account. Yeah, yeah the whole account, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would say like, um, mommy, why are you wearing the same thing you wore yesterday? Right. Um, <laughs> mommy, why didn't you come home last night? Right. This is my boss, just so no, that's so clear. awesome, I mean. <laughs> but I, also like my dear, wonderful friend. Yeah, and <laughs> what HR doesn't get is, <laughs> Won't kill them. Right. Well, it's 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 <laughs> when someone is gone, it's these yeah. hilarious. Sometimes they yeah. cross the line moments that we think about and we laugh about. Yes. And now, having said that, I'm not trying to be permissive over some of the behavior sure, that he sure, exhibited, it, sure. but also it didn't come. <laughs> those things that we're talking about, yeah, didn't. Uh, they weren't attached to you know sort of abuses of power or yeah. lording sex yeah. over people or anything yeah. like that. He yeah. fought for everyone's raises, you know. Right. You talk about uh, lack of self-help books or grieving groups for loss of a friend. Yes. Why is that? Well, I would say 
it's not like anyone was trying to take my grief away from yeah. me. Yeah. You know, nobody right. was like, well, you don't get to grieve. Right. Too bad. Just a friend. Yeah, <laughs> get you don't over get it. to do you that. Get, yeah. Sit yeah. in the corner. <laughs> um, no, but it just felt like the structure of life, of the self-help books, of um, the internet is very much loss of a spouse, loss of a child, yeah. God forbid, yeah. um, you know, loss of a parent. Um, and so in addition to being so confused and hurt by his death, I had this sort of extra patina of thinking, do I have a right to this? How much, right. is, I'm trying right. to get purchase on it, how much of it right. is mine? And um, turns out about 200 pages worth is, yeah. is mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it can feel very serious, but there's humor. And are you looking for the humor, or are you a person who writes your truth, the world you're right. in, and humor's there? Uh, this whole thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. that whole thing, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it is, the truth is, is I, I've I'm asking been a not for them, because I'm curious. Yeah. Because it's like, do you try yeah, to be funny? Yeah, not for them. <laughs> uh, do you try to be funny in this serious situation? Uh, no. Okay. No, I don't. Yeah. I think that what I have, and what I imagine you have as well, in replace of poetry maybe um, are analogies and observations yeah. and sort of this abject as exasperation at the world and that's yeah. how I see and describe the world yeah um, so the humor you know in my more traditional humor essays there's a better sort of alignment I suppose between the topic and how I'm telling the story with a grief book I think it hopefully gives the book more texture and or will offend massive amounts of people no it won't it's not it's, okay. it's, a, it's an excellent read why are why are we afraid to say grief why are we afraid to talk about it yeah. I find talking about death especially in North American culture it's like keep it down yeah. um, why tell me the answer to this existential question oh that yes, I am that's why you're here I'm, I'm specifically just, no, but you have a good input on you yeah. have a good thought on uh, on how to speak to people who yeah. are grieving or yeah. so I, I and why sorry on why it is that we talk about it so little why is there a yeah. little bit of an air right now a squeamishness because there's grief and there's sadness well, and especially there's... the kind of the kind of death this is is yeah. very scary yeah when we say we don't necessarily say your cancer, or our cancer, would you say our suicide or your suicide, his right. suicide? It, it's right. like we give it, it's like hot coal, and we give it back to the, the dead person as fast as right. we possibly can. Right. And I think because we're frightened for ourselves as we well should be. Yeah. But I think the only way around that is to discuss it yeah. more and yeah. to talk about it and to be asked questions about it. Yeah. Um, you know, in the wake of Russell's death, people would often say, did you know? Right. Which I personally don't have the best reaction to because right. I don't know if it's for me or for him. Yeah. Um, but what, I like what, to what, talk about what it. What should you say? Well, I mean, first of all, you should say whatever the hell you want to say. Right. <laughs> as long as it's, I'm not trying to police people's right. um, reaction to grief as long as it's authentic and yeah. it's sincere and yeah. not just sort of rubbernecking at a horror story. Right. And using your, right. you know, grief for this. I think you should just go with declarative statements. Yeah. I, you did. In the I did? way you, well, sort of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where you said, you know, you said, tell me about him. Right. I wish I knew him. Right. He must have been wonderful. What yeah. a big life that's more than this one moment. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I heard you say, part of grief is becoming on the side of the living once again. <laughs> Explain that to me. Um, well, if you've ever grieved someone, you know that, especially right away, there's this sort of almost embarrassing thing I felt, which is I was receiving all of these wonderful condolences and I felt like I was ill-equipped or did not have the shelving to accept them yeah. because everybody had committed the sin of not being able to bring my friend back. Right. And I just wanted to do whatever he wanted to do. So we had a memorial service. Right. I, I turned into what I call in the book a funeral zilla. Right. <laughs> where I was just like, is it hard to shut down Fifth Avenue for an hour? Right. Maybe we should, <laughs> right. why are these programs not bound with ribbon? Right. Where is the gold, le you know? And I'm like, okay, somebody needed to sort of pull me aside and yeah. say, yeah. you know, he's not gonna be going to the memorial right. service. This and honestly, at that moment, no, I did not know that. Right. So is it like changing that focus to back to yeah. present tense? Yeah. Yes, and I also changing to what he would want. Yeah. 
Do you know? Because yeah. again, um, even and especially with someone who dies by suicide, they are more than their last act of free will. Yeah. And we had an entire friendship and an entire life together where I know that he wanted more from me than to just focus on him. Yeah. It's a beautiful book. You will laugh. You will think, I <laughs> promise you. But it's also a tribute to your friend, Russell. Thank you for chatting with us very much. I appreciate it. Uh, grief is Grief is for People is available now. Sloan Crosley, everybody.